Hello and welcome to the channel. Danger Dad here again today. And I am going to be opening up some 2021 hockey today. Now, uh, I probably won't open the whole pack or the whole box. Uh, I'm not that quick at opening these things, uh, but I do want to get uh, some out there. So maybe we'll look at half or so. And uh, the first thing I want to do, if you haven't seen my last video uh, please take a look I'll leave a link up here I guess uh, where you could go see that and I talk about my first team all-star I'll also leave a, uh, those names up in the screen here as well as who I picked for my first team now I'm gonna look at my second team and again these are my picks so I uh, hope uh, you don't uh, take them too seriously and disagree but it's always good to have uh, discussion and uh, it's fun to talk hockey so my second team center would be none other than Mario Lemieux now Mario is probably the one player that uh, could possibly be also number one on this list and supplant Gresky I don't think anybody else can Mario could do that. Uh, it's unfortunate because his career was shortened uh, due to illness and injury. And if he had managed to stay healthy, uh, he could have uh, scored maybe a thousand goals, maybe upwards of 2,600 points. Uh, we won't, we won't ever know that for sure. And I think that's why. Gretzky still would go first on this list, but you know, Mario, I think is a close second behind him. And that is his rookie card, his 8506 uh, OPG. The next player I have on my list for the uh, wing, the right winger, is Guy Lafleur. Now, I do not have his rookie card. It's the 71-72 OPG. Uh, it's one card I don't have. But uh, Lafleur is probably pretty close to, I would compare him with Jaeger for sure, or compare Jaeger to Lafleur uh, as one of the most offensively gifted players that uh, has ever played hockey. He had uh, 13, 1,353 1, points. Uh, 560 of them were goals, and he has five Stanley Cups, two Hart Trophies, three Art Ross, one Conn Smythe, and uh, had he not retired uh, early, I guess he could have easily topped 600 goals. He did come back and play for a couple years, and he wasn't as good, but I mean, he did decent. He did okay, and so, but yeah, uh, he is my pick for right wing. At left wing, I did discern this a bit, and I did come to the conclusion that I would have to take Ovechkin. Now, as I was looking through for Ovechkin cards, I realized I don't have a lot of Ovechkin cards for some reason. So I'm going to have to go on a hunt for his uh, rookie card, I think, uh, which is the 0506 Young Guns. But uh, I mean, Ovechkin, how can you go wrong? He's uh, a, a natural scorer, uh, super hard hitting, shoots from anywhere, lethal with his one-timer, and he has so many awards to his name that, he, I mean, it's hard to uh, list them all. And he does have one Stanley Cup, uh, and he's still going. Who knows where he's going to end up? But uh, yeah, great, great player. Uh, not my favorite, but I can't deny that he is a great player. Now, I left this player off my list last time, but I can't leave him off again. Uh, at defense is Bobby Orr, another guy I don't have his rookie card, and I probably never will. But, uh, you know, great player. The reason I left him off the first team is because of his injuries and his uh, he had a you know uh, uh, early he you know, he left uh, the 
game at 30, he had to retire due to injuries. And uh, yeah, if he would have kept playing, he probably would have done a lot better. Uh, he was the first defenseman to score 30, uh, 30 and 40 goals in a season. He is the first and only defenseman to win the Art Ross Trophy for most points in a season. I don't think any other defenseman that will ever happen again. Uh, he's the first player to have 100 assists in a season. And he's the only player ever to win the Norris Trophy, the Art Ross, the Hart, and Conn Smythe in one season. That's something I don't think anybody else will ever do again. You never know. Uh, he has two Stanley Cups, eight Norris Trophies, two Art Ross, and the Calder. Again, great. I mean, he is a great defenseman. There's no denying that. Unfortunately, his career was cut short. And, uh, yeah, and that is kind of why I had him on the second team for myself, anyway. Then the next defenseman is the great Ray Bork. Uh, I think he's a fantastic player. That is his rookie card, his uh, 8081. And uh, he was a steady, consistent uh, player. Bullet of a shot, accurate. He has five Norris trophies. Uh, 1,579 points. First by any defenseman. He is the top defenseman for scoring. Uh, he played for 21 years with Boston. He didn't win a cup. Uh, and I think the main reason is because of the Dynasty Oilers at that time. Boston came up against them twice and lost. And I think it was a pretty nice gesture on the uh, Bruins organization to let him go to a contender before he retired. And uh, he didn't win the cup with Colorado the first year, but he did with the second. And he retired after that. So great player, glad he was able to win that cup. And yeah, another great defenseman. And again, no room for a goalie, but here he comes sliding in. Martin Brodeur, he, he could have easily been the number one uh, team as well, but I just really like really, really like um, Patrick Waugh. But, uh, you know, Martin Brodeur probably has more hardware than anybody. Three Stanley Cups, uh, four Vesnas, a Calder, five Jennings. And he's like one of the best, he was one of the best puck handling goalkeepers of the era. Uh, maybe best ever, I don't know. And he, uh, he kind of like Gretzky and others in his uh, um, that are great like that forced rule changes and uh, they had to uh, limit the impact with the uh, with the puck that goalies had to could have and I think uh, guys like that that changed the game were pretty great and he was one of them so that is my All Star team second All Star team let me know what you think. You agree, disagree, how badly you disagree. But yeah, anyway, that's my team. Let's open a couple of stickers and then we'll get to some some other cards. I'm really looking forward to opening that uh, series two cards. See what we can get. I've seen some good boxes, some bad boxes. Let's hope we've got a good one. Getzlaff, a Foligno, a Bernier, a Mrazek, and a San Jose logo. Nice. Also, if you saw my last video, I did talk about some trading. I'd love to try and see if we can't get some trading within the community, if that's possible. I don't know if people want to do that. Uh, I find that an enjoyable part. And, oh, there we go. A nice uh, mascot. I don't know if J.K. Jacob Johnny would like that one, but uh, I like that one. That's pretty cool. And so, yeah, I like, I'd like to, I, one of the things I enjoy is trading. So, yeah, if you enjoy trading, maybe we can make something work out. Who knows? All right, so let's see what we can get out of this box. 
really looking forward to this. I bought these at a good price, retail. Um, I'm gonna open a half of these, I think. Uh, retail, or not retail, on uh, pre-sale quite a while ago. And so I did get a good price. Um, I did buy some retail boxes as well that have, well, they're not out yet, so hopefully they'll be coming out uh, uh, a couple weeks and we'll get some of those as well. So, but let's get going with this hobby. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping we'll get one of the big, uh, big rookies. All right, so Ian Cole, Brendan Smith, Anthony Sorella and the Dazzler of Shane Bowers. The hits here and a Charlie Simmer canvas, one of these legends canvas. So I don't know, sometimes I have seen two hits in a pack, which is kind of nice. I like that. I like to see that. I don't know how often that happens. And a Jamie Pan. It's hard to see these in the camera. The names. But I'll get through it. I don't know if there's any pattern. Looks like we got a heavy young gun here. No, I think it's a OPG. Claude Giroux and Athanasiu, Greenway, Pellick, and a Bowen Byron, Marquee Rookie. I heard everybody saying how thin these cards feel. Well, they feel like an OPG card to me, I guess. I guess definitely different than the upper deck thickness. But uh, same as always, I think, for OPG. Mm -hmm. All right, no young guns yet. <coughs> and so we've got a Matthias Ekholm, Seth Jones, Jesper Bratt. Tyler Patuzzi and a Marky Ricky of Philip Kurishev. Got a Halak, a Kempf, and a Kotkaniemi. All right, I gotta get a young gun here coming up. Okay. I know people like this jersey. I'm not sure I do, but uh, it's definitely interesting. So we've got a Belmar, Vasilevsky, a Nyquist. There we go, Ian Mitchell, our first young guy. Van's Riemsdyk. Anderson, Mike Smith, and Scott Lawton. Okay, Sunquist, Tyler Bozak, Ben Hutton. Jared McCann and a portraits rookie of Ustamenko. Uh, Ustamenko. An Ethan Bear. Hartman and a Brassard. So nothing outstanding yet. Well, we still got a few packs to go. Let's see if we can't get a Kerpersil or 
Caprizoff, or Stutzel, Brodeen, a Chason, a Dermont, award winner Connor Hollabuck. Fabro, Corpusalo, Nico Heischer, and Madison Bowie. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a Jake DeBrusque, Calvin DeHaan, Oh, jumped right to it. Okay, so we got Joel Kelman. Joel Kelman, Young God. Jack Roslovic. Alexander Edler. Nicholas Backstrom. And a Nikushin. Nikushkin. Now, I may be missing some. Uh, the French variants. I'll look through those later. I often miss those. Actually, I usually miss a lot of stuff, I think. But, uh, <laughs> I find them. I go through them later. Double check my, my cards. Oscar Lindblom. Jeff Skinner. Bryant Nugent Hopkins and a canvas of Connor McDavid. I keep saying that's a nice uh, card to get of McDavid, but the farther you get away from his rookie year, is it really? I don't know. And here's the rest of the boys a checklist of Matthews and Peterson and Sean Walker. Four packs left. There's an Austin Matthews. Cheering all those goals he scored against the Oilers, maybe. Robin Leonard. Jake Muzzin. Tucker Pullman. And a Pog Pogansky. So these are not the guys I've seen show up in a box when Stutzla or Kaprasov could have shown up. Manjiapani. Nice ring to his name. Panic. And Stevenson. Yeah, I don't know if there's any kind of a pattern, but so far in the ones uh, openings I've seen, I do not believe these guys show up when any of the others, the big names, show up. Oh, we got something different here. It looks like it's uh, one of those foilies for uh, Freedom Sufferer here. Let's see what we get. Shea Theodore, a Kale McCarr, and a fluorescent of Joel Kiviranta. That's a nice card. I like that. It's a nice insert. Not sure how uh, how rare those are to pull. A cop, a Wilson, Elias Peterson, and Patrick Line. Really struggling he is. Maybe hoping for another trade out of Columbus. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see who ends up leaving him. Or uh, the coach. Oh, his name eludes me. I don't Tortorell. Okay, Patrick Marlowe, Bjork, checklist of Kane and Dreisaitl, Matt Roy, and Nico. Ricola. Yes, Marky Rookie, Cody Glass, Mark Giordano, and Michael. Kempney. Last pack for this opening. Let's hope for something good. Well, I mean, we've got some good stuff. Let's see if we can improve on it. 
Sidney Crosby, Miko Rantanen, Felino, and Kurashev. Did we get one of his already? Oh no, that was used to make. So Kurashev. Oh, and the French Young Guns. I think that's a pretty nice card. Rosie. So yeah, I do get these double hits every once in a while, which I, I enjoy that a lot. I think that's my first ever French Young Gun. Mikheyev, Pacioretty, and a Jason Spezza. So yeah, that was uh, our opening. Today, let's see, we've got Frenchy one, two. So we got four young guns. Dazzler, some canvas, some OPG. But yeah, four young guns. Pagansky, Kalman, Mitchell, and the Rosier French. Um, so I'm guessing maybe that means I'm only getting two in the next uh, next half but uh, yeah this was pretty good I'm happy with that some nice inserts it's always nice to get a double insert rather than no, none at all so uh, that was good I'm happy uh, happy with that I hope you enjoyed that if you did please leave a like uh, consider subscribing hit that notification button uh, bell icon so that uh, you, know, you can be notified whenever we put out a video and watch for our third team all-star let me also know what you think about these guys and my first team that I picked and also any talk or uh, thoughts about uh, trading I would definitely uh, do some trading if anybody else would be interested and of course if I have the cards that maybe you need so, anyway I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you again later.